Stereoscopes have been used since about the 1800s, primarily for entertainment, but we can use them today in archaeological research as well. This is a stereoscope, and it mimics uh, human binocular vision by presenting one two-dimensional image to each eye, and then it uses the human brain then to translate that into a three-dimensional image. So using this tool, we can see trees, pit features, other archaeological sorts of signals uh, in three dimensions using very early aerial photography. We can then combine this with GIS to find features on the ground, relocate those, and using GPS, we can return to those features and conduct our investigations. For example, here are two aerial photographs taken at Voyagers National Park in 1927. These are some of the earliest images available for Voyagers National Park in northern Minnesota and were taken by the International Joint Commission. As the plane flies over the landscape, each successive image is taken on the same plane. We can use the stereoscope to feed each successive image, one to each eye, and then look at the overlapping areas in 3D. Using this tool, I was able to look at some logging roads in Voyagers National Park and trace them, recording them in a GIS, thereby allowing us to compare it to archaeological sites in our database. We can use this combination of old and new technologies to better understand the past and to better plan archaeological excavations.